Yo, this is it on the place, Pokemon Black 2. We have defeated Drayden for his Legends badge. Now he wants to meet us outside and he will tell us what he knows about the dragons of Yenova. So, let's go and meet with him. I'll show you the way. Follow me. Okay, sounds good to me. Uh, before we go to wherever he wants to go, though, let's go to the Pokemon Center first. Because there he is. Because, uh, you, well, you never know. It's better just to be safe than sorry. Because we had a tough battle, his Axorus was really devastating, hitting such a truck, like a truck. But we won because we had a Magnezone that could tank his attacks, and at the same time give him some paralyzing effects. Then he basically took care of him himself. No need for a blizzard there. So, we win. And now, let's go meet with Drayden. See what he has to say about the dragons of Yenova. This way. We're here. Okay, come inside. Let me tell you the story. It's a long story, but listen closely. It was two years ago when the two dragon Pokémon were awakened. The black dragon Pokémon Zekrom pursued what is ideal, with a desire to usher into a new world of hope. And then the white dragon Pokémon Reshiram sought what is true, with a desire to usher into a new world of goodness. Zekrom and Reshiram were once a single Pokémon. You may wonder why it split in two. The single dragon Pokémon had helped the twin heroes bring a new region unto being. But the twin heroes, the older brother who sought the truth, and the younger brother who sought ideals, sundered the region in two as they fought to see which of them was right. In what desperate hour, the single dragon Pokémon split his body into a black Pokémon and a white Pokémon, even though ideals and truth don't need to be in opposition. As the story goes, a third dragon Pokémon, Kyrim, also came into existence in that area. And there may be proof of this to be found in the treasure passed down in my family for generations. The DNA Splicers. Professor Juniper's research determined that the materials in the Splicers date back to the same area as the materials used in building the Dragon Spiral Tower. Oh. The DNA splicers are stored very safely. I guard them, because I don't know what kind of power might lie within them. But here's what's been bothering me. Could there be one more dragon Pokémon? Even if Kyrim really exists, we don't know what kind of Pokémon it is. For starters, the two Pokémon that the ancient Pokémon split into are both overwhelmingly powerful. So if Kyrim exists, could it be just a husk? A shell that was left over? Hmm? What was that sound? Something was shaking at least, and something is really weird. What's going on here? What was that? And here it is. Bad things are coming. Very nice ship, don't you? Yep, it's the Plasma Frigate. And it has a cannon. And it's going to fire at us? Oh! Shh. Yeah. Yes, word. Well. Incoming! What? It, it freezes! It's your giant ice! Is it gonna freeze the town? Wow, look at that. Just like that, the whole town got frozen solid. Oh boy. This world of ice. Haxorus, use Dragon Tail. That's enough, Haxorus. 
Not only did the ice stay unbroken, there's not even a scratch on it. What's going on? I don't think that's going to work. I remember you from Enns Castle. It's bitter cold. I'm shivering. I'm suffering. But I'm alive. It's what the essence of life feels like. It's proof of my existence. But that's enough of philosophy. Here are the facts for your admiration. This ice was specially created by the Team Plasma's technology. As long as we have our secret weapon, you'll never be able to melt or break this ice. Let me explain our purpose here. Drayden, hand over the DNA splicers. Opelous City is a city where the past and the future are entwined. Could there be more perfect place for the splicers that connect the separated Pokémon? Do you think someone who knows that did two years ago will just hand them over quietly? Hmm. That's what I thought you'd say. At this point, I'd like to threaten you with another volley of ice. But we can't use it for a moment. Ah, <sighs> It won't be enjoyable in this cold, but I guess I'll just search for them. Those foul villains. Sitano, I want you to help me. We're going to drive Team Plasma out of Opposite City. Alright, so that was pretty interesting. Now they're just sending so much and now things are going crazy. So now we have to battle a few grunts before we can battle off against uh, Zinzolin himself. They're getting tougher. Sitano, take care of the others. That old guy won't hold back when his opponent is a young girl. I don't know. Take care of this guy, though. I lost. I didn't stand a chance. Can't believe Hector blasted me all the way over here. Oh, okay. I guess we don't even need to help him there, then. Fine. Um, let's see. Oh, we're sliding a lot of ice here. Look at this guy. Pokemon are pawns. They're means to an end. That's what I was taught. Don't think about it too much. It's easier that way. Is it? I have a doubt about that. The guards thought we had to beat up these TM Plasma thugs in this city. Let's take on this grunt first. He has a Watchhog. This one is level 44, which is quite high though, compared to what we've been used to in the past. But in my opinion, the Watchhog are starting to get really crap at this level because it just... Uh, other Pokemon just scale so much better at this level than, than Watchhog does. The Flash Cannon, almost a one-hit KO when it comes to mean look. We were not able to escape or switch out minor zone. We can use flash cannon again. Let's do it. To land. And the watchhog this time. Quite got critical hit when there's no health, that's just typical me, but at least it goes down, that's the most important thing. Here comes Muck. Muck the big poison slug. That's getting crocodile, who is resistant to poison damage and can deal super effective damage against poison types. Which because we don't have a psychic type right at the moment. Comes uh, Muck versus Crocodile. All right, let's go with Dig to go on the ground. Dig on the ground. On Muck too. Screech. Don't work because I'm not even there. Dig is used on Muck, and the damage is pretty good. Almost a KO, but not enough. Acid Armor. This is a very tanky move because this will increase Muck's defense power by two levels. Let's go with a Bulldoze to finish as well. That's super effective and Muck will go down. Moxie for attack power boost for Crocodile. And this battle is over. You little... You knocked out my stupid pawns! I knocked you out because I'm better than you. How can this be? That the kind of power Pokemon have when they're not treated like objects? Yeah, you finally got it, right? And the trainer here. Team Plasma, don't get in our way, you bother. Bother, bother, bother. I didn't even say Team Plasma, baby. That was a name, not what she said. Oh well. I get lost about that sometimes. Second round to fight is going to be this one. She has a Golbat. 
that's a good choice for me. Gobit is a flying type and poison type. I'm immune to the poison and flying are weak to electric. Let's go with Electro Ball on the Golbat. I'm fast on us, but I'm gonna avoid attack. It doesn't really matter though, because I'm elect Steel Electric is four time resistant to flying moves, so that's fine. Electro Ball will do a one hit KO, critical hit as well to make sure of it. Golbat goes down. Next Pokemon will be Garbodor. Oh boy, another poison type. Fine, Crocodile, please come back in again. We have another poison type we want you to defeat. So here comes the Garbodor. So with this one, we're gonna go on the ground again. Take care of this uh, piece of trash, which is basically what it is. Go over Toxic, but I'm not even there to take it, so I'll survive it. Here comes the Dig. Onto the Garbodor. And this one is enough. Not as tanky as Mox, so Garbodor goes down in a single hit. Well played, Crocodile. Arcanine as well, level 45. Ah, lame, stupid fool, Plasma! Plasma. How humiliating being bothered by a bother. How humiliating, how annoying, how bad. Oops, I'm just better than you. I'm sorry. I fought this guy. This time we'll take over the Nova region. You, you're chumming already? From fear or from cold, either is good. I'm tr not really trembling, I'm more like waiting to beat, beat you up. That's what I'm doing. Here comes the Team Plasma Grunt. We're gonna go off against a Surviper. Not a poison type though, which is fine. We're gonna face with Magnezone because Magnezone again is immune to poison, so Surviper's poison damage will deal nothing. Got the Flash Cannon. Charging up and blast it. Onto the Surviper. Oh, almost a KO. Night Slash from uh, Surviper. Damage is very, very low. Rocky Helmet will deal damage in a turn, and because of that, Surviper basically KO'd itself. That's a bit funny. Next up will be Weezing, and this one we can't really do much about because Weezing is a poison type as well, but Weezing has the Levitate ability, which means he is immune to ground. That means I'll be sticking with Magnezone because he's immune to poison. It's better to just have my zone deal this one by itself. Flash cannon. Much better to use. Charging up and strike. Damage is very Oh wow, critical hit! Now I'm getting the lucky strikes here. One hit KO on the wheezing. And this battle is over. Even if I lose, I'll not give up on justice for Team Plasma. That's all. Now that you mention it, I think I might have an order to come to Pokemon Gym. Oh, is that so? Well, let's go inside the gym. Aha! Look who we have. Hello, Zinzolin. Oh, for crying out loud. I didn't expect to have to fight hampered by coal like this. Well, no matter. The fact that I'm shivering means I'm truly alive. We'll see about that because now, Zinzolin. It's payback time. Time to take care of you once and for all. Since Zolin has three Pokémon, and they're all of the Ice type. First one will be Cryogonal. This one is a pure Ice type from Generation 5. So this one is actually good for me. Because being a Steel type, that's super effective against Ice. So let's go with the Flash Cannon. Cryogonal is faster than us, we'll deal the Confused Ray first. That means I now have a chance to hit myself. What will Magnezone do? It will go Flash Cannon. It ignores the confusion and strikes right at Cryogonal's face. Super effective, and but it will not go KO it because Cryogonal has a lot of special defense. So it will manage to survive. Cryogonal would, would go Reflect, which is going to increase its uh, physical damage taken by one third. That's fine. Confusion, Magnezone, it's going to hit itself instead. We have to keep fighting. Coming on with Ice Beam. A very powerful ice move, but again, steel types aren't really very, you know, bothering about ice because ice deals less damage to steel. Steel is resistant to almost to over half the types in Pokemon. Ice Beam again. Deal more damage. 
confusion ticks again. Manuson finally snaps out and says, you know what, I'm not gonna be hitting myself more. Let's just use the flash cannon and the cryogonal will go down. Well played. And with that, Magnazone is level 47. Next up will be another Cryogonal. You wanna switch? Yes, we do. Let's get in a bit more powerhouse. Let's get in Arcanine. We haven't really used Arcanine since he evolved, so let's use him now. A powerful doggy with fire as its type. Versus the Cryogonal. So remember, Cryogonal is more about the special defense. It's very weak defensive parts. So, we can go with Heat Wave or Flamethrower, doesn't really matter. Probably better actually go with Crunch. Because, he just has so much physical weakness. Last screen will even reduce more special damage taken, so it may be more better to use Crunch on Cryogonal. Damage is about a third, but his defense goes down, meaning they will take more damage from physical attacks. Cryogonal with Ice Beam onto Arcanine, not very effective. Because Arcanine, of course, is a fire type. Does do some damage though, but Arcanine is resistant, so that's fine. Oh wow, we almost took him down. If it went for the Reflect, Cryogonal would have gone down. Here comes the Confuse Ray, Cryogonal with his last attack, most likely, if I don't kill myself with the Confusion. Arcanine is confused, but he will crunch. It's eating time, crunch time. Cryogonal goes down. Well played. Alright, we have one more Pokemon to fight, it's gonna be Weevil. That's Sneasel's Evolution Weevil. Weevil is a dual type, Dark and Ice. So if you do have a fi fighting type move, you can take him out in a single hit. There's just a problem. I don't have any. So we'll stick with Arcanine. Arcanine versus the Weevil. He has a pressure, which means uh, PP usage of my moves will be going up. So I'll be using more PP to use the move, which is unfortunate. Heat wave, I'll be using this one. We would Night Slash. A pretty good dark move. Confusion Arcanine, what will he do? He'll go Heat Wave. It will land. Some effective damage, but not enough. Only about half. Maybe a bit less. Night Slash again from We Will onto Arcanine. Arcanine will Oh, a critical hit. He will go down. That's unfortunate. Light screen goes off. That's good for me. Alright. Um, we still can go in Magnezone here. Just be careful though. Magnezone is a bit low health, but if we can land the, um, the Flash Cannon, it should be enough. We will win Night Slash onto Magnezone. Magnezone will survive because he's sturdy enough. Rocky Ammo will deal some damage to We Will. Here comes the Flash Cannon. Will it be enough to KO the We Will? It will be. We Will goes down, and since Zolin has been given a lecture of beating. Have you gotten even stronger than you were in Lakanusa Town? How is such a brief amount of time? It's called training, and it's called a breather that gave me a lot of battles. Ugh. You're a strong trainer. You definitely are adept at handling Pokémon. I believe I'll take my leave, simply because I can't stand this cold. But imagine this, a Unova region completely covered in ice. To achieve that Splendor will do whatever it takes to obtain the DNA splicers. You're even better than I hoped. Thanks to you we drove them off. I'm grateful to your Pokemon also. After all that, the least I can do is to heal them with this medicine. Wait here a moment, I'll be right back. Okay. Hmm. That's a new record for making a hair and back. Look, Sitano. These are the DNA splicers. And he's gonna give them to us? Well, that's generous. This is what they were after. We're here, we're fortunate that Team Plasma didn't get their hands on them. I don't know what their goal is, but I'm sure they're planning something wicked. What the. As we suspected. The hiding place was in the gym. Well thought of. If Traden isn't there, we can't get in. If he is there, he's the strongest guard we could possibly face. This explains why the Pokemon gym was remodeled. Whatever. The Indian Spacers are in our hands now. It's beyond my imagination to think you were one of the seven sages to find out where the Splicers were. Now you know then. 
We'll accomplish our goals, no matter what the cost. We don't have the ability to captivate the hearts of others like Lord N does. Instead, we'll bend people to our will with brute force. Two years was a surprisingly long wait. If they've been stolen from us, we just have to take him back. Oh boy, we just had the Nesplicers and then the Shadow Tribe returns and they take the Splicers from us. Oh wow, that's just so, so damn rotten. Just like that. Now we have to do something about it. We have to stalk clock with Drayden and see what we can do to get him back. But this is very unfortunate. If they get that thing, things can become really bad. Maybe I'll ice over whole Unova. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. I'll uh, see you again next time as my story of Pokemon Black. Continue. Of course, Black 2, I mean. Sorry.